Hey guys, what's up? It's Tiny Box here. Welcome to a hopefully quick tutorial on how to upload edited PC videos that you record for either Let's Plays or commentaries. It doesn't really matter how to upload them from your iPhone to YouTube through your iPhone because the iPhone is such a annoying device. I, I like iPhones, but they're so anti-user that it's kind of disgusting, but and especially for like a content creator such as myself where I have to like upload videos because I want to maintain my channel and stuff like that. Um, and also, you're like, why don't you upload from your PC? Well, that's the entire point of this video. My internet is absolutely atrocious. Like, literally, some days it struggles to open Google. <laughs> I wish I were joking. Um, and yes, it's the year 2019 when I'm saying that, so that's nice. Um, so here, we have our test folder here, or file right here, or test video, I should say. So it's Sims Busting Out Episode 1. It's a Let's Play I'm going to be working on here in the future. I have the first two episodes recorded, and... To get this to our iPhone to be able to upload to YouTube takes a few steps. You, now, you might think, in common sense world, if you go to your uh, your phone, uh, your computer and you're like, hey, let me just go to my iPhone, right? And let me go to my storage and just drop it in DCIM, blah, blah, blah. Well, it turns out that actually doesn't work in this case. It bring For YouTube videos, it has to be in your camera roll in order for it to upload to YouTube. Don't ask me why <laughs> because I, I couldn't tell you why so this completely eliminates this method so if you want to upload YouTube videos through DCIM you're not gonna be able to do it there is an easy workaround however all you need is a USB cable obviously to connect to your iTunes account and also an app called video to camera I that might be wrong I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll put if that if you can't find that app it's like a blue background icon with a white camera with an arrow below it and I'll put that into the description, um, the exact name of it, in case I got that wrong, because I can only see half the thing. I'll show you actually when we go into the iPhone here. So what we want to do, if we want to download this folder, we want or this file to our phone, we have to go to iTunes, and we want to click on... I had to cut out this video because it would show my phone number, but there's an iPhone up here, and then you click on it, and then it brings you to your iPhone. So it's Quinton's iPhone, right? This is our back summary. We don't need this. We want to go down to apps down here. And we have to go to video to camera roll. That's what it's called. Video to camera roll. My bad. Um, so now we're pretty much in the woods. Or in the woods. We're pretty much out of the woods. So let me minimize this so, so I can actually see the other file. Um, so let me scale this down. And we have our Sims busting out. All we have to do is drag this over here once we're selected on the file, and as you can see, it's just copying one of one Sims Busting Out Episode 1. And that'll take a few moments here. It, um, it usually goes pretty quickly. Uh, it's probably kind of slow because my phone's nearly full. I think I have like 5 gigs left, um, which is a lot, I guess, for some phones, but, you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, as that continues to go upwards... Uh, what you're going to want to do in the next step, and this also, if say you can have internet in your phone or your computer, you can also do this with thumbnails. So, uh, as you can see, it's in this folder. I will show you quickly how we can do a thumbnail. So, let's say um, the first Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 episode that I uploaded to my channel. Let's say I want this to be on my iPhone. So, if I want to go through YouTube Studio to edit that, uh, we can do that. Um, <clears throat> so, what we can do is we just drag this over there as well, this JPEG. And then that is also in there. And now what you want to do is you want to scroll over your iPhone. I have no footage of this, but just trust me on this. All you have to do is open the app, the video to camera roll app, and then it will just say saved to, uh, two files or however many files you end up saving. And as you can see, they've disappeared from the camera roll of uh, the app on our iTunes. Now what we have to do on our phones is go to photos or even just YouTube, honestly, and go to upload and that video will be there. <clears throat> now, the only way to change thumbnails on YouTube from iPhone is through Safari. Um, or, the way that I prefer to do it is through an app called um, YouTube Studio or YT Studio, I think they're just calling it now. Where you just have access to your account, you can privatize videos, you can edit monetization settings, you can uh, change thumbnails, just do a bunch of other stuff. I really recommend that app. It's I don't know why it has to be a separate app from regular YouTube, but YouTube just likes to complicate things. Um, but here, as you can see, I'll show you on here. That's, that's Pokemon Go. Where am I going? Um, I'm trying to find on this page where the app is. See this app right here? 
this icon. This is your this is your icon. This is what you click on. And I guess I did show you through the apps uh, down here what the uh, the logo is or the icon. Um, and that is how you upload videos from your iPhone to or from your computer to your iPhone to YouTube. Now I know this might seem very bizarre for many many of you to making this video, but it seriously is one of the things that have plagued me as a YouTuber when I moved to this new house that has terrible internet where I can't upload and I have to rely on basically a phone hotspot. And now I do sympathize with the people that don't have unlimited hotspot or unlimited data. I don't have unlimited hotspot. I have unlimited data for my iPhone. But hotspot, like if I just wanted to turn it on, I only get like 10 gigs or something for my computer. It's not great. Um, but yeah, you can you don't even have to delete the original file. You can have that there as backup in case something goes wrong. I always recommend doing that. I haven't had any issues with files deleting itself on my iPhone, but you never know, honestly. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Anyways, that concludes this episode, or not this episode. I'm so used to recording Let's Plays, I'm calling them episodes. That concludes this tutorial. If I helped you in any way, shape, or form, let me know in the comment section down below. I know this is a really niche video for people that don't have internet or people that are just relying off of cell phone or uh, just cell phone connection to upload to YouTube. And honestly, it's a pretty great workaround considering the situation of having basically no internet uh, at home. So I hope I was able to help at least one of you people out there or one of you guys out there. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want more tutorials and or Let's Plays slash commentaries. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to. Of course, only do that if you want to watch the videos. Thank you so much for watching. Keep calm and trust your instincts. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.